Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most fundamental operations that you're going to use in any piece of software. I'm looking at Excel 2013. This could just as well be Word or PowerPoint or even something else, right? Like Photoshop. When you are using a piece of software, there's a good chance that you want to save what you're going to what you're working on. And so that's typically achieved by the Save As. And it's usually under the File tab. So I click on File. I click on Save As. And I get this. Um, so this is one of those things that most programs just don't work like this. And Office didn't used to work like this until 2013 came around. So there's a good chance that you may even know what you're doing with Word and Excel. Maybe you've used it a lot, but you haven't used 2013. So if 2013 is new to you, this screen's going to be new to you. Uh, so I'm not sure what everyone's defaults are. Mine defaults to computer. Sometimes it defaults to this. And so these options up here, you may have one, you may have three, you may have more. These are your OneDrive account. And so this is a cloud-based storage solution by Microsoft. Um, and this is just probably not where you're expecting to save your files to. Should you save them there? Well, that's up to you. It's cloud storage, which means it's available from anywhere. Uh, it's backed up. It's reliable. It's accessible. It's probably a pretty good idea to save things to the cloud. It's just not what you were expecting to do. Probably what you would like to see is what you get from computer and browse. So if you head down to save as computer browse, then you get this. When you click save as in 99% of programs, this is what you see is this screen right here. And you either know what to do here or you don't. You give it a name, you give it a location, and you're done. But I just wanted to illustrate that this is just a little bit more buried than it used to be. It's not all bad. You've got current folder here, recent folders. Maybe that's where you want to save it. So once you get used to this, it's pretty good. This is super useful. But just know that if you're not seeing what you expect to see, it's because you need to click on Save As, click on Computer, click on Browse, and now you can put it wherever you want it. So it's one of those small things, but it's a pretty big change. So hopefully this helps.